Hey viewers, today we will be talking about LEDs. LEDs are all around us. There are LEDs in virtually every electrical device and currently they are used more and more in lighting fixtures as well. But how do they work? LEDs are light emitting diodes. Diodes are electrical components that only permit current to flow in one direction. An LED consists of three components. An anode, the positive wire, a cathode, the negative wire, and a semiconductor crystal in between them. The semiconductor crystal is what it's all about. LEDs work on the principle of electroluminescence, which is the ability of some materials to emit light when an electric current flows through them. Different semiconductor materials give different colors, of course. As a side note, the color of the housing of an LED does not determine the color of the light. As I said, the color of the light is determined by the semiconductor material that is used. As you can see, there is a lot more to the LED than just those three components. The other components are there to ensure the light is focused and the semiconductor is protected. Although LEDs are mostly used as indicators, they can also be used as actual light sources. The main problem with using an LED as a light source is the desired amount of light emission. Although LEDs are much more efficient than, for example, the incandescent light bulb, there is still a significant amount of heat produced. And just like with any other material, the degradation of the semiconductor increases with higher temperatures. The basic solution to this, at least for the moment, is to build a heat sink on LED lights. By keeping the temperature of the semiconductor crystal to a minimum, the LED's lifetime will be the longest. In the future, we will see more efficient, longer lasting versions of the LED. And unless we see a new alternative for lighting, we will see even more LED applications in the future than there already are right now. I hope you learned something today and I will see you next time.